Welcome back to 316 Soccer Show, coming to you here from Emerson Biggins West. Uh, I am Peter Espinosa alongside Cliff Brown and Blake Shoemaker. And every week, like you said, we, we like to focus on youth soccer as well. And every week we're going to do uh, Youth Players of the Week. And this week, for the boys, it's Alex Anijos. And for the girls, it's uh, Angela Palmer. And Blake, you know both these uh, Angela these plays young guys. for the U10 uh, Girls River City Soccer Club and is she's what you have to be please nominate people send us in any information you can email us any way you can contact us we we really want to get uh the right kids nominated for this not only a quality player but the thing is the kid that at that age kids get developed at different ages right cliff so what we want is a kid that's attending practice all the time they're trying hard, they're learning, they're, they're technical, but they live and love the game. Angela Palmer is one of many children. She's one of the younger ones in her house. They're a soccer family. Her father grew up watching the wings. Great kid. I show up, uh, she was nominated. I show up to watch her play. We're shooting a little bit of video on her. And uh, I think she has four goals and an assist. So I'm like, wow, well now I look like I'm picking the greatest goal scorers in Wichita, right? But she was nominated and, and by far uh, justified her team was the biggest thing out of her mouth. She said, well, I do play on a really good team, so I get a lot of opportunities. <laughs> and this is a nine-year-old girl. So I, I was, I, I, we couldn't have found a better uh, nine-year-old girl to pick than that. And Angela, great job. Keep playing hard and doing your thing. You're doing well. On the boys' side, I'm very familiar with this young man. So and, and Cliff is as yeah. well. He plays for our academy, the Wing Soccer Academy. Alex Enohos. And Alex just turned nine years old. He's a stud. Plays, he's the easiest kid in the world to train. Uh, never a dull word out of his mouth, never a dull moment at training, games, plays hard, ask the right questions, he'll call me, I'll get a phone call, it'll be his family at 8, 9 o'clock uh, sometimes, and he says, Coach, I just want to tell you thank you. Stuff like, he's a great kid. Um, mom and dad did not play soccer, but now they're traveling together to, he's attending a Barcelona Academy, I believe, or, or thinking about it, in Florida this summer and also in, uh, in Dallas has went there to watch Barcelona play against Club America uh, a few months back. So really committed, great player, and uh, wish him the best. So any youth players you'd like to nominate, go to our website, Through and Six Soccer, on Facebook, Twitter, all that, and just let us know, and we'll check them out for sure. And another thing that is noteworthy that happened a couple months ago, but Northwest High School wins the 6A state championship. First time since 1995 when they won it then, and then before that it was 1989 when North won it. And it's just it's uh, it's it's good to see after 16 years another another Wichita team finally winning the 6A state title. And they've been close. There've been several teams uh, Wichita teams have been there and just couldn't quite close the gap. But this year, I mean, they didn't just win the state; they had an undefeated season. Mm -hmm. Really phenomenal. Uh, all credit to Bobby Bruvieska there. It's put you know did a great job with that group of players. And uh, they really excelled. I mean, I saw several of their games this year. They were very exciting to watch. And, um, you know, uh, of course, that, that gives me opportunity to recruit local players when you have teams of that quality. And we're talking about 6A state title. There's been teams in, in Goddard and Mays and Capon, and, and we've had teams that have competed in other uh, divisions. But at the 6A level, you put all the Blue Valley, Olathe schools, Blue Valley schools in play, and they have, as we all know, it's very competitive up there. And, uh, yeah, kudos to them. And good job, Bobby. Good job, Northwest give a shout out to Logan Vestring who transferred from Mays that uh, uh, jumped in there and played pretty well in a new system after a year and real proud of him. So well done Northwest representing Wichita very well and then moving on to the international game sticking with an American player Landon Donovan right there he makes his second loan move to Everton and he had his first loan move two seasons ago he had two goals and three assists and uh, just this past week he had another assist and he's doing well he always I think he's if he wanted to make a permanent move to England or to anywhere in Europe, but well, he tried in Germany earlier in his career, but England really suits him. Everton has suited him, and he's been great for them when he comes over, especially because they're a team that you know should be in the top half of the table. They struggle to stay there. They are kind of mid-table, and he's, he's somebody that always brings a spark, and he always does so well, doesn't he? Well, and it, like you said, he suits their style of play. He, he keeps the ball on the ground. He's got great pace. Very, very dangerous on the flank. The English game loves the flank players, and that suits him well. He gets out there. He has... He's not only playing great crosses, but he's playing great balls through to the forwards. 
and he just adds a lot. Of, and I mean, he takes the corners, too. Yes, he takes the free kicks. And free kicks. And when yeah. he's in a match with players of the caliber of the EPL, even on a national level, he's at his best over his career when he's playing against the best players in the world. That's what's phenomenal about him. You watch an LA Galaxy game late night on Fox Soccer or something, and there's times where he disappears. He took over that game in the late moments and got his team a draw. Uh, in that game, and that ball he played in, he beats Through multiple ball. guys yeah. Yeah, off a dribble, plays about. a ball in that beats three yep. guys, and I mean, I may finish there, right? So, the, yeah. holy no. moly, no. I don't know, Victor Anachebe has <laughs> finished. He, he, he went near post, the Nigerian Victor Anachebe scored the uh, the goal that was on the end of it, and it was it was near post, kind of slid it by the yeah, keeper. Yeah, a great but, slot. He caught the yeah. keeper and it was still it was, moving. And, and but, the, but the goal was pretty much credited to Landon Donovan's absolutely. vision. Well, from the, the left and the middle, and just saw yeah, the run But, but there's so much that's involved there. You, you know, the vision, but also the quality of the pass, placed on a dime, the right pace, forwards able to take it at speed and be able to look up and find the goalkeeper, what's going on. That's a real yeah. talent to play those kind of balls in. And you talk about a goalkeeper, we'll stick with Everton. Tim Howard's goal for Everton that he scored uh, a couple weeks ago, it was a little unfortunate. It was uh, full. Oh, fortunate full, for him. Full, fortunate for him, and he stuck with the goalkeeper code when he scored it. He turned around and didn't celebrate or anything. But uh, it was a box-to-box goal that took one bounce. The wind picked up even more than, than it had already been you know, blowing and just blew right over Bogdan's head. And, uh, you know, nothing the other goalkeeper could do. Tim Howard, clearly not clearly not attempting to score, but it's good to see. No backflips and no. fist pumps right. and, and no, all that. No, no big celebration. You don't want to be on the back end of those a month right. from now. Right, right. And, 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 and his teammate came over to, to, to celebrate with him. He just, like you said, he just kind of turned away. He, he was very he modest he about it. He didn't even reciprocate the hugs. No, he, he just kind of hands down. Yep, yep. Let, him, let, let them do the celebration. But it was literally, it was literally off a of clearance. A lot of times yeah, announcers yeah. call balls clearances that I think are passes. Yeah. But and this one was a back pass. He didn't want to take any chances. So he just stumped it up the middle. That's all he did. Right as he kicked it, there was some there was some trash and paper on the ground. And he saw it start blowing everywhere right as he kicked it. So help from the wind. But uh, he was the fourth uh, goalkeeper. Premier League. Fourth goalkeeper to score in the Premier League. Second American yep. to, wow. to score in the Premier League. So uh, nothing noteworthy. And also quickly, Annette, lots of Everton international news. Edson Buttle, former Galaxy player, is now on trial with them now. Edson Buttle's on trial with Everton. So And he was a big goal scorer for LA Galaxy. And he's moved there to uh, see what he can do. Um, he's been a, he's been a United States men's player in the in the past. An interesting scrimmage happened on the uh, on the 13th three days ago. Uh, the U.S. men's senior team played the U.S. Uh, men's U23 team, and a couple Sporting KC players yeah, got uh, goals for him. Local guys got a couple goals. Graham Zusi uh, called up to uh, Klinsman called him up to uh, compete against the U23 team. It's uh, kind of a close scrimmage. There wasn't a lot of people that attended. No real kids, training jerseys, red versus blue. Uh, four four nil for the seniors. Zussi, Burnbury, both got goals. All right, so anything else before we get out of here? We'd like to thank our great sponsor, Emerson Biggins, for putting a roof over our head tonight. Uh, Pacific Coast Pizza, Pro Soccer Store. Of course, Service others. Body Shop. Service right? Body service Shop. Service Body Shop. <laughs> so Service Body Shop, Emerson Biggins, is, is great to be here, guys. I had a good time. I think a lot of us and the people that are watching are going to stick around and watch KU versus Baylor on Big mm-hmm. Monday. It's going on now. We've, we've been asked, uh, we've asked them, don't give us the score. But also Mattress Hub, thanks to the Mattress mm-hmm. Hub, and uh, Chris Morgan with Farmers Insurance. All right, so thanks, everybody. Be sure to look us up on Twitter, Facebook, our uh, webpage, and the show will be um, on podcasted on the webpage as well, video podcast. You'll see all this. And uh, thanks again for Peter Espinosa on behalf of Cliff Brown and Blake Shoemaker. We'll see you next time here on 316 Soccer Show. Mm-hmm.